Good morning, everybody. I'm very happy to join you at least this way through the recording uh, uh, sent uh, directly from Brussels from the Office of the European Data Protection Supervisor. Well, as, as you know, these are the days which are very, very busy for those people who are dealing with the data protection in the European Union since uh, uh, on 25th of May the general data protection regulation started to be fully applicable all over Europe uh, and uh, also in the countries of the European uh, economic area as well as uh, all the uh, countries, all the states of the European Union have uh, prepared uh, their own national leg legislation which is supplementing uh, regulation with those uh, uh, rules which have to be done on the national level. So there's quite a lot of things going on at the same time in uh, the whole uh, area which is covered by the GDPR. General Data Protection Regulation is also applicable to all those services and all these goods uh, that are offered on the European market by the entities which are coming from outside, which may also have some, uh, some effect uh, uh, to the uh, sectors, to the entities uh, uh, that uh, the conference is going to talk about. Are the new regulations, different kind of regulations, beneficial for development of the trust services in the market? ADAS, GDPR, PSD2 and uh, at least a dozen of uh, other uh, regulations uh, are in the scope of the interest of the uh, European Data Protection Supervisor and all data protection authorities uh, in the countries uh, of the European Union. Uh, you probably are aware of the fact that the European Data Protection Supervisor is only supervising the European institutions, bodies and agencies, while in all the other countries, all the countries of the European Union, uh, there are data protection authorities on the national level. So we have 28 jurisdictions at the moment uh, in the EU and a 29th quasi-jurisdiction which is the uh, institutions, bodies and agencies of the European Union and that's the place where EDPS uh, has uh, playing its role. But it's more important for our today's discussion that uh, EDPS is also taking part as an advisor in the legislative process uh, as well as is preparing uh, the guidelines for the EU institutions, bodies and all the agencies of the EU on how to implement uh, uh, the uh, solutions uh, uh, that are coming from the European law. We are also the member of the European Data Protection Board uh, that uh, is the successor of the Working Party of Article 29. There is no Working Party of Article 29 anymore. Instead of that, we have a body which is consisting also of all the data protection authorities, which is called the European Data Protection Board. And we are the member of that, but we are also providing the secretariat to this body. And uh, this body, apart from the opinion-making powers that the, uh, that the Working Party of Article 29 already had, uh, has also the possibility to solve uh, the uh, disputes uh, between data protection authorities uh, in the individual cases, but also to issue official guidelines to the uh, GDPR and uh, uh, these guidelines are uh, created in order to harmonize the approach uh, to the law which should be directly binding, directly applicable and directly effective in the same way in all these 28 systems and 28 plus actually systems that, exi that exist in the European Union. You are also aware of the fact that the privacy and data protection may have, uh, the, uh, may have its role in the national legislation and in the national constitutional legislation, which is uh, true in my country of origin, which you are uh, visiting at the moment uh, Article 51 of the Constitution of the Republic of Poland from 1997 is studying the, the most important uh, uh, the most important principles of data protection. But of course, the most important for us in the practical uh, in the practical uh, actions uh, in the European Union is the fact that Article 16 of the uh, Treaty of, Fun of Functioning of the European Union is uh, creating the right to the uh, personal data uh, on the side of each and every person, not the citizen of the EU, but each and every person. But in the same article, in its second paragraph, which is quite a complicated one, we have uh, actually the message 
that the Parliament and the Council, in the normal procedure, can do whatever they want uh, with this uh, rule, with this principle, which is in the uh, article, uh, which is in the Article 16, Paragraph 1. And this is what has happened. This is what has happened, first of all, in the regulation which uh, I'm basically talking about right now, General Data Protection Regulation, but also uh, in the regulation which is prepared for the EU institutions and which, which is going to be enforced this year as well, but also in the sectoral solutions. And we may treat uh, the, uh, the regulation on uh, a, uh, the ADAS regulation as one of these examples uh, of the legal acts uh, which are preparing, uh, uh, which are creating some sectoral, sometimes even exceptions uh, uh, from the rules uh, that are stated uh, in the General Data Protection Regulation. But the principles are staying the same and the principles uh, of data protection shall be used uh, in all of, the, all of those uh, legal acts, even if they are on the level of the regulation. We have to remember that the big change which happened after the Lisbon Treaty is the fact uh, that uh, the uh, data protection stopped to be one of the policies that is under realization in the EU. So it's not one of the articles which is in the uh, in the GDPR, uh, sorry, in the uh, acquis communautaire, and uh, one article which is uh, somewhere in the treaty, but it starts to be the fundamental right. This movement from uh, the article of 200 something uh, to Article 16 is very important because it means that the rest of the that of the uh, acquis communautaire of the whole uh, system of the European Union as far as law is concerned should be seen through the lens of fundamental rights and one of these lens uh, is the lens of the data protection. It also means that the principles, as I said, should be kept uh, no matter if we go uh, the, the, to the uh, act which is created on the national level or the act which is created in the form of the regulation as it is with AIDAS. So, which principles? The principle of lawfulness, fairness and transparency. The principle of purpose limitation, the very important one for us. Uh, the principle of data minimization, which also ADAS is recalling. The principle of accuracy, the principle of, uh, uh, the principle of uh, uh, limitation of the storage. Uh, and uh, uh, these all have to be uh, shown by the controller, also by processor, but first by controller in the process which is called accountability check. So what does it mean in practice when we compare the uh, ADAS as the regulation with the principles like that? Well, uh, ADAS uh, is recalling first of all the privacy by design as one of the main uh, things to be taken into consideration in preparation of services uh, that are created uh, for, the Euro for the European uh, Union uh, institutions, for the European Union entities and for everybody who works uh, on the market in these uh, countries. And uh, we recognize that uh, as the very important commitment uh, from the whole sector to these things connected with the data protection. Uh, just. Uh, a few days ago, a European Data Protection Supervisor has prepared uh, the opinion, the preliminary opinion on privacy by design, which uh, uh, is stating the main principles of, uh, main uh, ways to in include uh, the principle of privacy by design in the normal work of the institutions and all the services which are proposed for the institutions. And uh, in this uh, uh, opinion, we are recalling directly ADAS, saying that ADAS regulation provides the framework for the, provi uh, for the provision of the electronic identity and trust services in the digital single market in the EU. And as the provision of uh, such service requires the processing of the personal data by the service provider, the regulation contains the references to the uh, Data Protection Directive, which right now will be understood as the references to the General Data Protection Regulation. In addition to compliance with the General Data Protection Regulation and the, its principles, the regulation also refers explicitly to privacy by design and uh, uh, to privacy by design as a principle to be supported by the ADIOS interoperability framework. 
and the technical implementation of AIDA services should be guided by the common interoperability framework uh, which implements the principle of privacy by design. However, it would be necessary to adjust the measures uh, implemented under AIDA's regulation in order to develop this uh, potential. And let me recall the other actions which are done on the border between the typical AIDA solutions uh, and uh, the other actions which are undergoing, uh, which are going on uh, in the EU. Uh, I especially mean the communication on online platforms uh, and the digital, digital single market uh, and its implementation which uh, is done through the, uh, through the uh, interoperability principles which are prepared by the Commission right now. Well, I guess Mr. Servida will be able to tell much more about uh, the practical things connected with this, uh, uh, with this uh, document uh, and with the consultations that are done at the moment. Uh, but we have to remember that uh, these are the practical documents that we are talking about. These are the practical documents where the data protection by design shall be taken into consideration. As Article 25 of the GDPR says, uh, taking into account the state of art the cost of implementation and the nature, scope, context and purposes of processing, as well as the risk varying uh, likelihood, of likelihood and uh, severity for rights and freedoms of the natural person posed by the processing, the controller shall both at the time of the determination of the means of processing and at the time of processing itself uh, implement appropriate technical and organizational measures such as pseudonymization, which uh, are designed to be implemented, uh, uh, to, to implement the data protection principles, such as data minimization, in an effective manner to in integrate the necessary safeguards into the processing in order to meet the, the requirements of the regulation to protect the data subjects. And this is the basis for the data protection by design being the, <coughs> being the way to embed uh, into the design and the architecture of the IT system, but also of the business solution that we propose uh, without diminishing the fun functionality of that. Why I'm stressing this part of the Article 25? First of all, this is the first paragraph uh, after which the, 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 the mm, explanation of privacy by design, privacy by default starts. But it also says about state of art. And this uh, uh, calling for uh, taking into consideration the state of, the, of art uh, is actually the uh, kind of appeal to all of you, all of the engineers which are in the room at the moment, uh, to prepare the uh, standardization solutions, uh, but also the formal specification solutions and the code of conduct. And as it is said in, uh, the, uh, in the paragraph 3 of the same article 25, the certification mechanisms which may show that the privacy by design principle is observed. An approved certification mechanism may be used as an element to demonstrate the compliance with the requirements set out uh, in the pri privacy by design article. I hope that the meetings like that, the meetings like uh, the one which is going on in stretching uh, these days, uh, uh, will allow us to be prepared uh, for creation of the certification mechanism for electronic identification, for electronic signatures, uh, and for using them in the right way in the in information systems that are prepared uh, in the European Union. I hope that will be an important part of this discussion and let me greet once again uh, from Brussels and let me also say that both the national data protection authorities uh, and the, sometimes the local ones which exist in some of the countries, uh, but also the, e European, um, the, the European data protection supervisor as the EU uh, data protection authority, we are all committed uh, to the practical work uh, um, connected with the privacy by design 
in the electronic uh, identification services. That might be also the part of our discussion which is going on this uh, uh, month uh, in uh, uh, Barcelona during the meeting of the IPEN. IPEN is the workshop, is the platform for those who are dealing with uh, privacy by design solutions in internet, that's Internet Privacy Engineering Forum, which is created by the DPS, and this year's meeting is, finish, is organized in uh, Barcelona in half of June. Thank you very much, and uh, have a good uh, conference. Thank you.